to show you a couple of different ways to drape fabric on a bridal arch. Every way I show you can be modified further and you can kind of just add to it, personalize it, and make it your own. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is take my fabric and I'm going to start with a fourth of it. So I'm just folding it in half and then finding half of that half. So half of a half and that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to drape it around the edge of my arch, just like that. And then I'm going to drape it from back to front. I like draping from front to back as well, but from front to back you have to be careful, especially if you have really silky or slippery fabric. It could kind of move more than draping from back to front. So if it's going to be windy or if your fabric is very silky, then you would want to drape from back to front. Both look nice. It's just, uh, you know, something to keep in mind. Okay, so I'm going to drape from back to front just because it's more secure. And never drag your fabric. Always lift it and move it. Then I'm going to come over to this corner here. I'm just going to loop it around. Sometimes I tie it in a knot. Just depends on the fabric. Again, some fabrics are slink slinkier and they fall more than others. So if it's too silky and it doesn't stay just draped around itself, then I definitely say tie it in a knot. Just fanning the fabric out a little bit, just like that. For the first piece, I started a fourth of the way down my fabric. This next piece I'm going to start, like I'm going to drape it to the floor to start out. Some people don't like for the fabric to drape the floor. If you don't, then you can start all of them a quarter of the way up, whatever you prefer. I think having it at different dimensions, kind of tapering the fabric at different lengths and heights, it still looks really good, especially if it's going to be flowing or anything like that. So I'm going to start with my second piece of fabric touching the floor. I'm not saying a certain distance from the fabric because depending on, it just depends on the height of your arch and the length of your fabric. So that's why I say just drape it and hook it wherever you want your fabric to hang. And I like it just like barely draping the floor. I think that looks nice. This time we're gonna go front to back just because I like to alternate. Again, I have my base from back to front just so it doesn't move. And then my final piece is going to also drape from back to front. You could drape all of them back to front if you choose to do so. That's definitely an option. But I like kind of switching it up because I think it looks really nice. So this one is going to be front to back. Drape it once again with my other fabric and my last piece. Okay, so for the last piece, I'm going to start a little higher than my first piece just because I want this fabric to drape all the way down to the floor on the right side of my arch. Again, this could be different if your fabric is longer or if your arch is shorter or taller, so just adjust accordingly. And then I like to kind of Try to gather my fabric like that, just to give it a better fall. Okay, and drape it around the back. And I'm going to drape this one from back to front once again. And I'm letting it hang a little bit lower, just to kind of give it layers and dimension. And I'm just kind of fanning this portion out here. And I'm looping it around. Again, sometimes I make a knot depending on the fabric. And then I just let it drape all the way down here. Then you can take a step back and look and see if you need to adjust anything. This is a quick and easy draping of fabric and it looks absolutely gorgeous and it's going to be nice and sturdy. You could even use some zip ties. Not on the very top because you don't want it to be visible, but underneath you can zip tie the fabric in place. You can zip tie over here and cover it with the fabric. On either side, you can even zip tie at the very top corner over there. 
So if you want it extra secure, if you're going against the elements as far as like wind or anything like that, then you want to make sure your fabric is extra secure and it looks exactly the way you want it to look. You can add any type of floral arrangement you choose. I'm going to go with the classic and show you what it looks like. So I had a large floral arrangement and a smaller one. I'm going to put the large in the top left corner and the smaller in the bottom right. Well, halfway to the bottom right. You can use some nice sturdy floral wire or heavy duty zip ties, whatever you prefer. Again, I like to use zip ties to secure it and I use the floral wire to kind of adjust it and maneuver it to make it look exactly the way I want it to look. So this one is just going to go right in the corner. And again, the exact position is going to be determined by your specific arch and where you want your flowers to fall. I'm going to use floral wire to kind of maneuver the rest of my flowers. And I like that. If you want to use zip ties for all of it, you can. If you want to use floral wire for all of it, you can do so. Whatever you prefer. All right. So once you have that secure, you're going to do the same thing with the smaller arrangement. And I like to go right where my fabric is gathering. If you use a knot to tie it, then this will definitely hide the knot. You can have it sideways, you can have it upright, whichever way you prefer. And there you have it. A quick and easy bridal art setup. So simple and easy to do, but it looks so absolutely elegant and gorgeous. Add in any touch, final touches you prefer. Zip ties and floral wire to secure your floral arrangements. You can even do so to secure the fabric and keep it nice and sturdy in place, but it looks so gorgeous. Fabric draping the ground. If you don't want it to drape the ground, you don't have to. Again, that's the beauty of it. You can make it as tall or as short as you'd like. But you can see like my layers are kind of tapered so that depends on your fabric and the size of your arch so just work with what you have and adjust accordingly as you can see the fabric is just kind of draped over but if you have fabric that's too like slinky or silky you will have to secure that with zip ties just to make sure it stays in place and it, the wind or anything doesn't mess with it so I feel like this is like a classic backdrop. A slight alternative you can do if you prefer is to, and instead of draping it halfway down the arch, drape it over the arch. So whatever's at the back, I'm gonna drape it to the front. Anything at the front, I'm draping to the back. So that's another alternative. If you don't want the high and low drape, if you want both of them pretty high, and you can get a floral arrangement to match that side on the other side, if you don't want the large and small. So I think the large and small looks really good when you have a large at the top and then it drapes to the small. But if you want to have two at the top, I would definitely say two large ones. You can do it however you prefer. If you want to go with the large and the top, you can do that as well. Whatever you prefer. So that's just another alternative. I'm going to show you a few other different styles that you can play around with. So I'm just finding the halfway mark of my fabric and I'm going to gather all of it up and drape it over. I'm going to do that for four pieces of fabric. So the first two ways I showed you were both three pieces of fabric. This method, again, it just depends on the size of your arch and the width of your fabric, honestly. And then I'm going to fan them out carefully without dragging. So I'm lifting and fanning. I'm kind of giving them a little bit of a pleat, like so. I'm going to do this with all four pieces. If you 
want more pleats, then you would add in more fabric. If you want it straight, then you would use less fabric and straighten out the, the fabric that you have. So you could have it just straight if you choose to do so. You can also add in, gather it up a little bit, just like that. And I have the fabric draping the floor. You don't want much draping the front, then you can definitely, you know, adjust it by putting more towards the back. You just kind of like pick it up and let it fall. So it looks the way that you want it to. Again, so this is four pieces of fabric and I think it makes a pretty decent size. Add in more if your arch is larger, fewer pieces if it's smaller, and based on the look you want. Again, if you want it more smooth, then fewer pieces and stretch them out. You can even double layer the pieces if you want it like really thick because this fabric is pretty, pretty sheer. If you want to double layer the fabric, you can do so as well. I'm going to show you what it looks like with some flowers. All right, so I think this specific style looks really good with like floral garland or, you know, draping, weeping, flowing floral arrangements like wisteria or anything like that. I feel like that looks really gorgeous. But again, if you want to use the arrangements I used in the last design, you can do so as well, whatever you prefer, it's completely up to you. But I'm gonna show you with this really pretty garland here and show you what this looks like. Ties and floral white. I'm starting in the center and just attaching it to my arch. Pulling it out and I'm using floral wire to attach the end of my arrangement. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. that's what it's looking like so cute and gorgeous I feel like it just looks it's so simple but it's gorgeous makes for a beautiful backdrop again you can get some greenery that hangs down even lower but I feel like this just looks so like dreamy drape it even lower you can get greenery all the way to the ground if you choose to do so or even just halfway whatever you prefer but it looks so cute and precious just like that again you can add in more fabric, less fabric, more flowers. You can even drape it around the side just for something a little different. These as well. And that gives a slightly different look but it still looks nice and gorgeous. If you even want to add floral arrangements to the sides just like that you can do so. Or you can even have a garland coming down both sides. Possibilities are endless. Or even say you're going to be on the beach and you have a gorgeous background that you don't want to cover up with the fabric. You can gather and loop it around as well and drape it just a little bit lower. Loop it around and drape it and then you can just adjust it, make sure it falls the way you want it to. So draping all four pieces back is another option. If you have a gorgeous backdrop or scenery that you don't want to miss or cover up with any fabric, draping it still gives you the option to have the gorgeous backdrop, but still being able to like see through to say the mountains or the lake or the beach or wherever you are. So that's another option. And again, you can add flowers to the side or you can add draping greenery whatever you prefer the possibilities are endless it's so quick simple and easy to make modify it and personalize it to fit you